Hello, in this lesson you're going to have a very short introduction to vectors, subject that we're going to treat later on in the course. As you know, these three uh, vectors that we're going to talk about uh, in this lesson, displacement, velocity and acceleration, they are very close related to one another. First of all, let's uh, clarify what this uh, second derivative represents. If you have a function f of x, so let's denote that with y equals f of x. It's our original function. Then, if we derivate this function, we're going to obtain this y prime or f prime of x, which we know we call the derivative. But let's be more uh, specific with this one. It's going to be the first derivative. If we calculate the derivative of this y prime or f prime of x, well, we can say it's the derivative of y prime, or in regards to f of x, y or f of x, is going to be the second derivative. So if we derivate the derivative once again, we're going to end up with a second derivative. Obviously, we can continue this process to infinity, so we can calculate the nth derivative of f of x. Throughout the course, we are going to concentrate on uh, utilizing the first and the second derivative, however. The notations for second derivatives are as follows. The Lagrange notation is y second or f second of x, however, the Leibniz notation is more clear uh, as to what it represents, as you know, although you have to be careful not to misunderstand uh, these symbols, because it's a notation after all. So the second derivative in Leibniz notation looks as d2y by dx2 or d2 dx2 of f of x. However, we don't really um, read this like that just read it as a second derivative of f of x, or second derivative of y. What are vectors after all? Vectors are nothing else than quantities that have, beside the magnitude or the size, they also have a direction. Displacement is nothing else than the distance that an object travels uh, from an origin over a period of time. The most common notation for displacement is going to be s of t, or d of t, so as you can see, the distance is the uh, size of, or the magnitude of this uh, vector displacement. And we measure this in meters. Velocity, if we express it in the terminology that we use throughout this course, we can say very clearly that it's the rate of change of the displacement over a period of time. Because we want to know how fast the displacement value is changing over time. We can denote this uh, v of t well, the speed is nothing else than the scalar value, the size of the velocity. But the velocity is the rate of change of the displacement, the instantaneous rate of change. In and uh, we measure this uh, commonly in uh, meters per second. Velocity is nothing else than the derivative of s of t. And the last one, acceleration. We're going to use the notation a of t for the acceleration. Of course, uh, acceleration is going to be measured uh, commonly in meters per second square. The acceleration is nothing else than the rate of change of the velocity over a period of time. That's going to be the derivative of the velocity. And if we look at the relation between the velocity and the displacement, it's also equal to the second derivative of the displacement. So we already have all the relations between these three um, vectors. Keep in mind that uh, throughout this course, when we talk about uh, velocity, displacement, velocity, and acceleration, we refer to the movement of an object in a straight line. So that's important to understand. What does it mean if the velocity of uh, an object moving in a straight line equals zero? That means that the object is at rest or is stationary. But that also happens to be when the object is momentarily at rest. Imagine if you throw an object in the air, it's going to go up, up to a point, but then it's going to come down. Well, before it comes down, it has to stop there for just a moment. So it's going to be momentarily at rest. Velocity v of t is going to be zero for just one moment and start to come down again. We can also have velocity to be positive so, as a convention, we're going to say that when velocity v of t is greater than zero, we refer to an object that moves in the positive direction, which also means up or right.
when velocity v of t has a negative value the object is moving in negative direction similarly let's analyze what happens for the acceleration when acceleration a of t is greater than zero we say that the velocity of that object is increasing or the object is accelerating it's a more common way to refer to this uh, situation when a of t the acceleration has a negative value then the velocity is decreasing or the object is decelerating so now that we've seen what happens in all the situations basically possible let's analyze what happens when the product between velocity and acceleration has a positive value and when would that happen for a product to have a positive value both terms have to be either positive or both have to be negative let's uh, take the situation when both are positive so that means the object is moving in a positive direction and the velocity is increasing so that means the object is speeding up if both velocity and acceleration are negative that means the object is moving in a negative direction and the acceleration is decreasing or decelerating so the acceleration actually it's increasing in a negative direction in other words so it's also speeding up only that in the negative direction so it all makes sense so far what happens if you have the product between velocity and acceleration uh, to result into a negative value well we say that the object is slowing down so if this product is going to be negative it's either one of the terms are going to be negative and the other one positive let's consider the first situation velocity positive so I'm going in a positive direction forward but decelerating so I'm gonna slow down obviously alternatively if velocity is going to be negative I'm going to move in a negative direction but I'm accelerating in the opposite so I'm going to slow down once again Hopefully all this uh, makes sense to you. Thanks for watching.